Yeah, I mean, he's still not the fun. He's always kind of mellow, a mm-hmm. little almost too mellow. Right. Like, too many awesome things are happening to you to be this mellow. Completely, let's be honest. Completely, yeah. I just read an article in Venice Magazine today, and it was about him, and he was just talking about how he didn't even want to audition. A- to it was be about a- Adrian Grenier. Yes. Okay. Uh, and and how they are similar in that way of it's like screw Hollywood. He didn't even want to come up for the audition. His age, his manager had to pay for the flight for him to fly up to do it. He used to tell everybody about the scripts. How they he didn't agree with any of the scripts. Why he didn't get much work after uh, that Melissa Joan Hart movie. So yeah, which was awesome. <laughs> may I add, drive me crazy. Well, a good Britney Spears music video to go along with it didn't hurt. At oh all. my <laughs> gosh, you did not just throw that out let's, there. Let's I'm, move I'm gonna, along. I'm going to state on that. That made the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I agree. That's the only reason I know about that. The movie. one pivotal like party scene where they're playing "Drive Me Crazy" in the background. Yes. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know. I'm I'm sort of feeling a little bit of a disconnect this season because totally. I I like I was at, what I was saying before was that every character is so set in their like personality traits mm-hmm. and like everyone's changed. Yeah. Which is a little odd for me. And then also I was reading an article and we're we, very good at reading. Articles. We really are, yeah. because we're such super fans. People think it's a little weird that the show is called Entourage, and in the last season they decided to throw another guy into the Entourage. They've added Scott Kahn, yeah, Scotty Levin in the show. Well, I was noticing at one of the last scenes uh, in this episode, there's like so many people walking in the Entourage. When Dice Clay was in the Entourage, it's Scotty expanded. Kahn. There's and uh, the the director guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy, oh Billy Walsh, Billy Walsh. Yes, he's in the Entourage now. Everybody's right. in the Entourage, right? And I guess it, it's season eight. It's like, oh, let's all just be one big happy family and let's just throw as many people in there as we can. But there is something to be said about the magic between those four. Uh, it'll never be the same as it was in those first two seasons when it was just everything awesome. Pure, pure to- godliness, right? <laughs> Close to godliness, I'd agree. Right. Okay, so let's talk about tonight's episode. Let's do it. Um, it opens up. Vince stayed up all night like a crackhead. Well, actually, mm-hmm. no pun intended. Because right. he just got out of rehab. Let's, yeah, let's uh, be sensitive to yes. his needs. Vince stayed up all night and cranked out an entire script. Which now, is the script about the uh, minors. Right. It's the right. glorified uh, Lifetime movie of the week. Yes. And... He's like all of a sudden like got these creative juices flowing and it's just so strange because he's the guy who could never be bothered to read a script. No. And now all of a sudden he's writing them? I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, Especially because you're, you're an actor. Right. And I do try to write every once in a while. And mm-hmm. I loved the scene where they were talking about how horrible he was at grammar because I can <laughs> certainly, I'm like, thank God. So this is a trend. I'm not the only one. It's like E and my friends. My friends are very good at grammar and I just missed... Hey, you got yeah. into Michigan. You must have been decent at grammar. That's true. Well, yeah, I went in on in my acting merits, but uh, I passed oh. enough classes. Uh, all the classes, to yes. be fair. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I know. It's like uh, I like Vince better when he's not trying to be super heady about everything and mm-hmm. he's just being good at acting and finding the next chick. Uh, but I think that scene really bounced right away when Johnny Drama wore the dragon <laughs> t-shirt, <laughs> the samurai That shirt. was perfect humor that I was used to from like seasons, Loved you know, it. one through whatever it was, yeah. five. Just stereotypical dig at each other, you know, making fun of one another and awesome. poking fun. It was amazing. My my roommate, who's also named Dave, mentioned the other day, he was like, Johnny Drama's wardrobe person should win an Emmy because he has the mm-hmm. best outfits every week. He really does. And I love how he used the, the fire as an excuse <laughs> and all his clothes burned in the fire except the one hideously awful horrendous oh my God. Ed Hardy dragon like, what, t-shirt. What, bro? What? Yeah, what? <laughs> he was all about it and he rocked that for like the entire the episode. The entire ep- well, they can't take that awesome. off. Yeah, that's that's his character. I loved it. Amazing. Um Sloan with the FU bomb? Did Hurtful. you see did you see that coming out of left field or uh, no, yeah, I, though I don't know what to expect out of her. You know, she's so attractive. You want to like her and everything Completely. that she does. And yet she's being such a total meanie head mm-hmm. to be correct about it. Nice politically correct uh, yes. way of putting it. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so left field, yeah. And Eric always seems like such a nice guy, though he can come back with some hurtful comments. But it was a little startling. Yes. What was your reaction? Well, here's the thing. Sloan, since she's been on the show, I believe the guys have been on the show for eight seasons. She's been on for six. Okay. Since her inception on this show, she is like the quintessential Every guy wants to date her. Every girl wants to beat her. Yes. She is like a cultural phenomenon. So many guys of my guy friends, you go up to them and you say, who's your dream girl? Sloan from Entourage. Well, they don't even say Emmanuel Shrieky. They just no, say Sloan from Entourage. doesn't have a real name. No, completely. It's too hard to say anyway. It really is. You think she, she changed Shrieky, it as an actress? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I just, I love her because I think she's gorgeous and she's smart, but she's also like career driven. She's yes. not just daddy's little spoiled rich girl, which, she, you know, she does drive a Porsche, but a she, nice she, Porsche. she works and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, to see her throw out an, a, a blatantly malicious F bomb to, uh, to E, hurtful. It's hurtful. It is. And it just seems bad form coming out of such a pretty mouth. No, seriously, not very ladylike no. Sloan. Um, and then also shortly thereafter, a follow-up F-bomb by Christian Slater. Awesome. Great cameo, cameo of the episode. Completely. Right? And yeah. again, an unanswered question. Oh, it just happened here. And now, <laughs> and why the F-bomb? We don't know. Do you remember a Christian Slater episode from way back? No. And I don't think I, I do I mean, maybe, maybe I'm a bad fan, but I really don't remember. I don't think he's been on no. before. So. No. Uh, maybe that just came out of left field. I, it's sure. just a, probably a celebrity saying, I want to be on Entourage. And they say, say F you to drama. Completely that makes sense. Completely right. Because who else would you say F <laughs> no, you to? Exactly. No, it's got to be him. Um, But back to Sloan really quickly. Let's yes. talk about, we, we were both kind of put off by the whole watch comment. The watch uh, comment. It's hurtful. It's uncalled for. Yeah, very emasculating. Yeah. Uh, so Sloan, just to, to recap for you guys, Sloan and E are in the bedroom and they're sort of like, well, he was Having going through fight. her panties, right? Well, <laughs> That's how it started. Let's, Which is not let's cool. paint the picture. Please, please don't ever do that to your ex-girlfriend. That is so creepy on so no. many levels. Uh, but she, they're, they're like having this whole fight. They're having it out. And she takes off the watch to return to him. Mm-hmm. And he goes, oh, you, you've been wearing it? And she goes, yeah, well, I paid for it. And you see the hurt puppy dog face and eat. Oh, my God. You just saw it from his eyes all the way down the rest of his but face. It, it was, was so kind of, awful. It was kind of that statement that jump-started a respect between the two. So maybe it kind of worked out in the end. Completely. I don't think that the way that you should go about obtaining closure is <laughs> sleeping together. Um, no. Like they, it's a tactic. So I suppose maybe <laughs> it works for some people. Maybe it works in entourage land. Uh, certainly, I don't think it line. works in reality. No. But uh, I was very, very upset to watch that last scene where she's like crying as she's driving and she admits she's going to be moving to New York. I couldn't tell if that was a pasted tear on her face well, or a Well, why freckle. did it keep hovering right there? It just right stayed there. right there. Yeah, you I think don't that think... was well. As an actor, what do they use? Like salt water drops? Yeah, so I, I've <laughs> never had to get tears pasted onto my face, but I imagine it looked like some kind of jello mold on her face. It wasn't. I don't you think haven't she had properly your Sloan prepared. Crying moment I haven't yet. yet. I wish I can. Hopefully, soon this season. Um, and speaking of like sad breakups, we've got Turtle, who's like totally left in the dark. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't know where his look how hot she looks in that picture, P.S. Yeah. And we were talking about we've never seen the inside of his business before, right? This is right. the first time. Well it's amazing. Oh my god, it's like a full fledged warehouse. Foot, with ten foot models. He's never looked shorter in his life. He never. looked like he was in the Wizard of Oz. Never. But you know, this is a real turning point for 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 Turtle because for so many seasons, you know, he he tried. He tried to manage Saigon, but that yeah. didn't really go over so well. No. Um and now we sort of see him displaying this like entrepreneurial sense and becoming more of a man because he sees E working. He sees now dramas working. And obviously Vinny Chase is Vinny Chase. So right. time for him to pick up the slack. I guess so. But in a sense, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, as a true Entourage fan, you feel a little, you like almost don't want to see it happen because you oh. feel such a connection to him being the dude. Stoner that's, dude on the couch. That, that's the driver. Completely. Yeah, and, who wants to go shopping for new sneakers. That's who I, yes. I miss. Yeah. And like, we all would have that friend that if we, one of us got very famous that we just assume that this friend would is the guy the that drives around, gets high, <laughs> and kind of that guy. Right, and he never had a problem with that. No. He loved being that guy. Yeah. So. He, he wasn't trying to be more than what he was, which is sad in one sense for us career-driven folks, but in another sense it just fit. And Completely. now he's trying to be this whole other person. While I respect it, I don't always enjoy it. Completely. I, I do miss the the old turtle as yes. well, so that's a and good the, point And the fatter there. turtle. Yes. Which oh my we'll gosh. get to later. We'll get to in news yes. and gossip. We have... Uh, very exclusive details on how Jerry Farrell lost all that weight. I don't know how we weight. got this news, but we did. We, we, we have special sources.